Today we're checking out the new Fresh Air plugin from Slate Digital. So this plugin came out around Black Friday this year, 2020, and the videos that I've seen of it makes it seem kind of suspicious. At first glance, it seems like uh, it's just an EQ and with no real parameters that you can tweak. All the demos that I've seen just increase the volume and it's like makes the before sound dull, even though it was kind of fine to begin with. So we're gonna check it out, see if this is something that's actually useful. Here's the website. I'll have a link to it uh, in case you wanna check it out. I will say that downloading it is a bit of a, a hassle. Uh, you need iLock, you need a Slate Digital account. So it's like 12 steps or something like that to get it. Um, I'm also going to check it through Plugin Doctor. Where is it? Here. And we'll see what the knobs and stuff actually do. I have to say, it doesn't seem to work perfectly well in Plugin Doctor uh, in the VST3 version. It seems a little odd. Um, and it's behaving differently than what I'm seeing in Reaper. I have a project here that's kind of a heavy synth wave sort of thing, and I'll just play this section. And then uh, we'll put on the Fresh Air plugin on the drum bus and the synth bus. All right, so this plugin increases the highs. That's the main thing that it does. And I'm most concerned about it getting real harsh in this section right here. Because those are about as crisp and bright as I want them already. So let's give it a try. I've got the Fresh Air plugin here. And so let's check out these controls. It has a RMS and peak meter at the top. And then we've got controls for mid air and high air, and they can be linked and you can ch set them to different parameters or different values for each knob and then link them and they keep the same ratio until you go, go down to zero and then they kind of reset. Power button or bypass and then a trim. So I've got this on the drums bus and here it is not doing anything and I'll increase the high mid presence. And now I'll change the high sparkle, they call it. So it's pretty simple, just two controls, and it can really change your mix. And you may not want to do that. And so if you do kind of like the sparkle that it adds and things like that, but you find that it gets too loud, you can adjust the trim, but then that's also going to turn down your kick drum. Because this only affects the highs, if you use the trim, it turns everything down equally. It doesn't just scale back the effect uh, here. So. What I think is kind of an advantage for Reaper users is that we have the mix control right on every plugin. So I'm gonna set this to like, let's say 30% here, which is kind of an extreme setting, but it makes it obvious. And we'll set the trim to like, I don't know, minus one or so. And then I'm gonna turn the mix control in the plugin down. So it's at 60% now. So 
So we're adding kind of that sound, but we're blending it in with the original brightness that was there. And we're not affecting the kick and the snare as much. I think that's kind of the trick if you want to use this plugin. It's also something probably you want to just pick a setting and then build up your drum mix through this, hearing this all the time, either on the drum bus or in the master bus. Uh, because if you have a really well-balanced mix already, adding this at the end is just going to make it sound weird. Like those hi-hats are going to stick out too much and they have to go back and turn them down. All right, let's move on to same thing with the synth bus. And so I'll just solo the synth bus here. So it brings out a lot of sort of like the, the really high highs, the hiss kind of things that were kind of buried before, um, adds in some kind of different textures that were a little bit buried. And I mean, there's some cool stuff in here. So I think it's worth using for that. But it's also making those synths poke through a bit too much. So again, I'll just blend this in a little bit. Uh, turning down the mix control. So I'm at 66, just an arbitrary amount. All right, so let's go to the full mix and we'll go to, uh, I'm gonna use the project media bay to bypass this. So we got fresh air right here, two instances, and I'm just going to bypass them. So let's start with them off. And I feel like that's kind of working. It's adding in a little bit of brightness, a little bit of like higher textures that weren't there before without completely changing the mix, without changing the volumes of those things by a lot, just kind of adding in something. So I don't know, I think I might actually use this in mixes. Um, again, I think the Reaper users have an advantage of being able to dial in that mix control to be able to kind of do this in parallel within the, the track effects chain. Um, I think this is probably pretty useful with very low values on the mix bus, but also you can just put this on every sort of bus or folder track you have and kind of add in a little bit of, uh, of this kind of flavor. Let's switch over to Plugin Doctor. So now we're in Plugin Doctor, and as I said before, this plugin doesn't quite behave properly in here, but I think we can get an idea of the, of the processing that each knob does. Uh, what I notice here is that the trim knob, bypassed or unbypassed, is doing nothing. It's supposed to change uh, the center line, and also that the the center line should be at zero. So, yeah, it's kind of weird. But let's take the um, high mid presence and turn that up. So you see, overall, it's changing the volume, and it's also adding in this um, kind of soft curve. Frequency is about 5K. Yeah, it's a pretty strange curve. And all the way up at 100%, we get a dip. So even though it's the high mid control, it's it's kind of affecting everything. If this, uh, this graph is correct, if it's behaving properly in here. Then switching over to the high sparkle one, this is such an extreme control. If this is correct, I got to scale this down so we can actually see what's happening. So... Yeah, this is like 20 dB or more, 30 dB of, of high frequencies with a huge dip. Let me just get this down to, uh, down to zero here. 
with a huge dip um minus three at 3k 2.9 looks like yeah very strange and again in plugin doctor the trim control is not working if i use, have them both at 100 percent yeah it's it's off the charts you can see here that using a like 64 hertz tone and increasing the the mid range is increasing the volume of everything and same with the uh high air not as much and it and it turns it down again at about 80 percent it starts turning it down slightly but there is an overall boost in volume of everything so that is the fresh air plugin from slate digital it's going to be the sound of the next six months everyone's going to be overusing this i think it's essentially an eq and you can kind of do the same thing uh i think with any good quality eq but it's interesting and it's free thank you guys so much for watching hope you've enjoyed this tutorial please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already follow me on facebook and twitter support the reaper blog through patreon and visit reaperblog.net for a lot more tutorials